you've got it. For example, songs about American history and American music and life in America. That's an excellent theme, children, but I'd like you to also include geography. Include geography? I'm sure you'll find a wonderful way. Now let's take a look at today's music. Okay. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. Mrs. Wilson is so tough on us. I know what you mean. Yeah, it's like you think you've done really well, and then she asks for more. Hey, guys, I think your idea of doing a show on America is really neat. Thanks, Billy. And now all we have to do is, what did she say? Include geography? Now where's the book that explains what words mean? You mean a dictionary. That's the one. Oh, it's up there. <laughs> Got it. So let's stand by to roll the opening. Megan is working on geography today. So I'm the AD for the day. Cool. Standing by. Roll it in five, four, three, two, one, and take it. <laughs> Christian, Alex, we're coming to you in three, two, and... Good morning and welcome to the Kids Songs TV show. The one and only show made by kids. For kids. And starring kids. Hi, I'm Alexander Paul. And I'm Christian Leneventura. <laughs> and I'm Billy Biggle. Are you feeling happy today? Sure I am. How about you? Very happy. Me too. Now you kids at home, if you're happy and you know it, clap, clap your, your hands. hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, pull your ear. If you're happy and you know it, pull your ear. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, pull your ear. If you're happy and you know it, raise your hand. If you're happy and you know it, raise your hand. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, raise your hand. If you're happy and you know it, make a smile. If you're happy and you know it, make a smile. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, make a smile. If you're happy and you know it, raise your hand. If you're happy and you know it, pull your ear. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Okay, 
Now let me get this straight. To incorporate is to include, and geography tells us where places are and what they are like. So that means... Uh... Mrs. Wilson wants us to put information in our show about different places. We can do that. Old McDonald had a fire mosquito and standing by. Five seconds left on the clip. Four, three, two. Cue the host. This next song is about old Mr. McDonald and his farm full of animals. And boy, does he have a lot. His friendly scarecrow was nice enough to give the kids' songs kids a tour. So here we go to Old, old McDonald's Farm. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. So when we introduce a song, you can make yourself small and run around to different parts of the country. And show us where they are. And what they are like. And I'll be teaching geography. Hey, wait till I tell my mom. She's going to be so proud of me. Billy, you are so cute. I know. <laughs> Alex, stand by. One, three, two. Our next song takes us back in time to the 1800s when settlers were exploring America. Many of them wanted their own home on the range. To find out more about the range, let's join Billy Beagle in our map center. These states here, Nebraska, North and South Dakota, and Minnesota are some of the ones they call the range. It's really beautiful country, great for farming. And as the song says, deer and the antelope played here. You'll see it all in Home on the Range. Wow, an instant geography lesson for Billy Biggle. Just what Mrs. Wilson wanted. She'll love it. Roll the clip. Clip's rolling. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam and the deer and the antelope play. We're seldom is heard of discouraging word and the skies are not cloudy all day. Home, home on the range where the deer and the antelope play. We're seldom is heard of discouraging word and the skies are not cloudy all day. The air is so pure and the zephyrs so free and the breezes so balmy and light. 
exchange my home on the range for all of the city so bright. Home, home on the range where the deer and the antelope play. Where seldom is heard a discouraging word and the skies are not cloudy all day. How often at night when the heavens are bright with the light from the glittering stars. I stood there amazed and asked as I gazed if the glory exceeds that of ours. Home, home on the range, where the deer and the animal play. For seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not. Take me out to the ball game. Three, two, and cue! This next song is about a very American sport. In fact, America is one of the few places in the whole world where baseball is played. That's right. The only other countries with baseball teams are Canada and Japan. Japan is all the way over here across the ocean. And Canada is right here next to America. Hey, if these are the only countries who play baseball, why do they call it the World Series? Good question, Billy. We'll get back to you on that one. But first, here's Take Me Out to the Ball Game. KHB, it's up to you to get out there and save the team. Remember, you can do wonderful things with your life if you really believe in your dreams. Go get them, kid, all right? cities. They're really hard to pronounce, like Koibyshev and Novosibirsk and Dnepropetrovsk. In three, two, and cue! Rock and roll is definitely American music. And this next song was written by one of America's most famous rockers, the legendary Chuck Berry. When the Kid Songs kids decided to be rock and rollers for a day, they picked this Chuck Berry tune. It's called Living in the USA. Los Angeles, oh, 
Hey, I found all the cities that the kids sang about in that song. Here's New York in the east. And here's Los Angeles, way over here in the west. Then they sang about Detroit, which is over here in Michigan. And Chicago is down on the Great Lakes. And Chattanooga, oops, I forgot. Where is Chattanooga? I'm getting tired. Let's give Billy a break. He's trying so hard at his geography lesson. We can go to Mr. Policeman next. Good idea. And cue them. Our next song is called Mr. Policeman, even though it's about policemen and women. I think police officer is the right term. I thought it was peace officers. I'm confused. Let's ask police person Maria Tones when she comes up. She'll know. But first, the Kids Songs Kids salute LA's finest. The men and women in blue. Mr. Tom's ready for the interview? Great. Cue the host and roll the question time graphic. Rolling in four, three, two, and take it. And now our own Janet Bates is going to interview Officer Maria Tomes. The Los Angeles Police Department was kind enough to let her come on the show, so let's meet her now. Janet? Thank you, Christian. Thank you, Alexandra. Good morning, Officer Tomes. Hi, Janet. You can call me Maria. Why, thank you. Tell us, how old were you when you first decided to become a police officer? I was about 13 years old, and police work always seemed so exciting and interesting to me. I used to love to see those black and white cars with the lights blinking and the sirens going. I was always real curious as to where they were going and what was happening and what were they doing. Do you like it? Yes, I love my job. I enjoy it. Is it scary? I don't think of it as being scary. We've all been trained to react and do something. And then after we've taken control of what's happening, then it becomes scary. Is it ever fun? It's a lot of fun all the time. If you see someone strange in your neighborhood, what should you do? When you see somebody in your neighborhood that you know doesn't belong there, and they're driving around slowly, or they're walking around and checking people's doorknobs, more than likely, they're up to no good. And you should call the police. Go inside, tell your mom and your dad or your babysitter. You should call the police. Do you have any more advice for the kids in our audience? You should always look and listen to danger. You should always pay close attention. Before you cross the street, look all four ways. Always pay attention to your cross guard. You should always follow the cross guard's directions. And lastly, 
Whenever you get into a car, you should always get into the habit of putting your seat belt on. Seat belts are very important. And even if you're just going for a very short distance, wear your seat belt. Well, thank you, Maria. Thank you for joining us, and thank you for giving us so much information. Thank you, Janet. What's next? Billy sing along. What is he singing? When the saints go marching in. And cue them. Now it's time for Sing Along with Billy, which happens to be my favorite part of the show. Thank you. It's my favorite part, too. And what are you singing today? That old time spiritual, When the Saints Go Marching In. Great song. But did you know that it first became popular in New Orleans? Or as they say down there, New Orleans. <laughs> which is right over here. New Orleans is the most exciting city in Louisiana. It's famous for its Dixieland jazz band. They love playing this song and I love singing it. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, I want to be in that number. When the saints go marching in. Oh, when the this next song and we hope you like it as much as we do it's a real kid songs kid song Spaghetti is one of my favorite foods. Mine too. Is it American? No, it's from Italy. <laughs> Not really. It's actually from China. Spaghetti? I think you're thinking of noodles. No, China. <laughs> the famous Italian explorer Marco Polo discovered it here and liked it so much, he brought a lot of it back to Italy. Over here, where it became very popular. And we'll save the story of how it got to America for another day. As we were saying, this next song is about spaghetti and the adventures of a runaway meatball, to be exact. Here's On Top of Spaghetti. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese. I love my poor meatball when somebody sneezes. It rolled off the table. I'm 
Well, that's our show for today. The one and only show made by kids, for kids, and starring kids. And Billy Biggle. See ya! See ya! Bye! Where did Chattanooga go? There it is in Tennessee. I found it! Hey, kids, I found it! It's not too late, is it? And look, here's Poughkeepsie and Schenectady. and lasses, but now we must be going. But where to? How about England? Yeah, let's go to England! All right, chap. Off we go. <laughs> now then, now then. 